みなさん、こんにちは。ローズです。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですか ?I hope you're doing well. このビデオでは、レッスン34の文法を紹介します。でも、その前に、レッスン33の文法を復習しましょう。So, first we've learned about imperative verbs, which are used to give orders or command someone to do something. While prohibitive verbs are used to stop someone from doing something. We've also learned nani nani to yomimas, which is A is read as B. For example, それは非常口と読みます It's read as 非常口 We've also learned nani nani to kaitarimas, which means A is written or it says A. For example, 非常口と kaitarimas. 非常口 is written or it says 非常口 Next, we've learned about nani nani to yu imi desu, which is A means B. For example, shio kinshi wa skatte wa ikenai to yu imi desu. We've also learned the phrase nani nani to itte imashita, which is used to convey or relay a message. For example, kare wa seki o hazushimasu to itte imashita. He said, I'll be away from my desk. And lastly, we've learned about how to ask someone politely to deliver or give a message to someone else using nani nani to tsutaite itadakimasen ka? For example, ato de denwa o kodasai to tsutaite itadakimasen ka? Could you please tell her or him to call me later? Hai, d a i j o b u desu ka? Before we begin, don't forget to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. じゃあ、レッスン34の文法を勉強しましょう。Here are the grammar points for today's lesson. The first one is verb 1 or noun の通りに verb 2. So here it means verb 2 in the same way as verb 1 or noun. Meaning to do or copy exactly what someone has seen, heard, learned, and so on. Dictionary form is used when the action is going to happen from now on, while ta form is used when the action already happened. For example, please do as I do. Our verbs are do, shimas, and another word for do is yarimas. So we say verb one in dictionary form, watashi ga. Shimas becomes suru. And then, tori ni, watashi ga suru tori ni, followed by our verb two, which is yarimas. Yatte kudasai. So, please do. So, we say, yatte kudasai. Watashi ga suru tori ni, yatte kudasai. Next example, please write down as I say. Our verbs are say, Imas and write down, kakimas. So, first, our dictionary form of imas. Watashi ga iu. So, I say, watashi ga iu. Tori ni. Our verb is kakimas. Please write down. Kaite kudasai. Watashi ga iu tori ni kaite kudasai. Next is, I made the dish the way I learned it from my mother. Our verbs are learn, naraimas, and made or make the dish, sukurimas. So here we are going to use the ta form because it's in the past or the action already happened. Ha ha ni naratta, so naraimas becomes naratta. Tori ni ryori o skurimashita. Haha ni naratta tori ni ryori o skurimashita. Another example, I'm brushing my teeth the way the dentist taught me. Our verbs are oshete moraimas and migakimas, brush. So we say, haisha ni oshete moraimas. So again, in ta form, because the action already happened. The dentist taught me. 
followed by tori ni, and then our verb to hao migaite mas I'm brushing. Haisha ni oshete moratta tori ni hao migaite mas. Next is using the same pattern, but this time we are going to use noun. So when we use noun, we have to add no before tori ni. Now no tori ni verb to. Verb to or do verb to in the same way as noun. For example, please go along following the arrow. Our verb is go or go along. Ikimasu. So first we have our noun, the arrow, which is yajirushi. Yajirushi no tori ni itte kudasai. Yajirushi no tori ni itte kudasai. I will cut the paper along the line. Our noun is the line and our verb is cut, which is kirimasu. Sen or line, sen no tori ni Kami o kirimasu. Sen no tori ni kami o kirimasu. Next, I will fold the paper according to the drawing. Our noun is drawing and our verb is fold, which is orimasu. So we say zu or drawing or figure zu no tori ni kami o orimasu. Zu no tori ni kami o orimasu. And one more example. I will assemble the furniture according to the instruction manual. Our noun is the instruction manual and our verb is assemble, which is kumitatemasu. So, our noun, setsume sho, which is instruction manual. Setsume sho no Tori ni kagu, furniture, kagu wo kumitatemasu. Setsumeisho no tori ni kagu wo kumitatemasu. Next is verb 1 or noun no ato de verb 2, which means after verb 1 or noun, verb 2. So this is similar to the pattern verb te kara, verb 2. However, verb te kara emphasizes that Verb 2 will happen immediately after verb 1, while verb ta atode means that the next action or verb 2 will happen sometime after verb 1. So, not necessarily immediately after verb 1. So, that's the main difference between verb te kara and verb ta atode. Here we have two patterns. The first one is using ta form. So, verb in ta form followed by atode and then verb 2, which means after verb 1, verb 2 happens. And another is noun no atode, verb 2. After noun, verb 2. For example, after exercising, I drank beer. So our verbs are exercise or undoshimas and drink, nomimas. So using the pattern above, verb Form. So we say, undo shita ato de. Verb 2 is, I drank beer. Biru wo nomimashita. Undo shita ato de. Biru wo nomimashita. Again, ato de means that the second action happened sometime after the first one. So not necessary immediately. Let's look at another example. After I bought the new one, I found the clock that I lost. So our verbs are buy, kaimas, and to found something or to find something, which is mitsukarimas. So we will say atarashii no, so the new one, atarashii no wo katta, so ta form of kaimas, atarashii no wo Katta ato de nakushita tokei ga mitsukarimashita. Nakushita tokei ga mitsukarimashita. 
新しいのを買った後でなくした時計が見つかりました。Another example is using a noun. Let's have a meal after the concert. So our noun is concert and our verb is to have a meal, which is 食事をします。So we will say noun, コンサートの後で食事をしましょう。Let's have a meal. コンサートの後で食事をしましょう。In one more example, I take a shower after jogging. Our noun is jogging. Our verb is to take a shower or abimas. So, jogging no ato de shawa o abimas. Jogging no ato de shawa o abimas. Next one is verb one in the form or Verb one in nai form followed by de and then verb two, which means do verb two with or without verb one. So here we have two patterns, verb one in te form followed by verb two, meaning do verb two with verb one. So if it's in te form, it means with. So doing two actions simultaneously or accompanying The second action with the first action. And the other one is verb one in nai form, de, verb two. So here it means do verb without doing verb one. Okay? For example, we eat sushi with soy sauce. So here our verb is shoyu o skemas. Although in the English、um, sentence there is No word of skemas or to put, but it is understood that we want to say with or we eat sushi putting soy sauce, but in English it doesn't sound natural, so we just say we eat sushi with soy sauce. And our second、um, verb is to eat, which is tabemas. So you saying this pattern, verb te, verb to. So let's do this. Show you a つけて、寿司を食べます。So again, we don't translate this word per word because it will sound unnatural in English, but we literally we want to say we eat sushi putting soy sauce on it. Basically, that's the literal English translation, but we can just say we eat sushi with soy sauce. しょうゆをつけて、寿司を食べます。Another example, I always go out with my umbrella. So our actions or our verbs are kasa o mochimas or I bring my umbrella. So with my umbrella means I bring my umbrella. And our second verb is to go out, which is de kakemas. So our sentence is itsumo always, itsumo kasa o motte. でかけます。いつも傘を持ってでかけます。Okay, next is using the nai form. For example, driving without. So here we, we are using without or nai. Without putting on a seat belt is dangerous. So what are our verbs? So the first one is Putting a seat belt, which is shito beruto shimas. And our second verb is drive, which is unten shimas. So let's make this into our Japanese sentence. Again, we will make this into nai form. Okay? Shito beruto shinai de. So shimas becomes shinai. Shinai de, and then our verb to drive, we will make it into a noun. So we say, unten suru koto. Unten suru koto, because we are using driving, which is a noun. Unten suru koto ga, and we are describing it as 
dangerous or abu nai, abu nai desu. シートベルトをしないで運転することが危ないです。Driving without putting on a seat belt is dangerous. And one more example. I drink coffee without putting sugar or without sugar. So our verbs are 砂糖を入れます put sugar and drink 飲みます。So we say 砂糖を入れないでコーヒーを飲みます。砂糖を入れないでコーヒーを飲みます。And lastly, using the same pattern as the previous one, but only using the nai form, verb one nai de verb two. But here it means different. It means not a verb, but instead Verb two. So here we have verb one nai form de verb two, not verb one, instead verb two. So if you have two actions or two choices of actions and you want to emphasize that you, you are going to do or you did verb two instead of verb one. Or I do verb two instead of verb one. For example, I didn't sleep last night. Instead, I assembled my new furniture from IKEA. So our two verbs are didn't sleep or sleep, which is nemas, and assemble, kumitate mas. So let's make this into our sentence. So in nai form, nemas is nenai, nenai. So, nenai de. Last night. Yube wa nenai de. Followed by our second verb, which is to assemble. Ikea no atarashi kago wo kumitate mashita. Yube wa nenai de. Ikea no atarashi kago wo kumitate mashita. Another example. I'm not going to buy a cake. This is our verb one. Instead, I'm going to make it myself. This is our verb two. So, buy, kaimas, and make, skurimas. So, we say, I'm not going to buy a cake. Keiki o, or keiki wa, kawanai de, Then, jibun de skurimasu. Make it myself. Keiki wa or keiki o kawanai de jibun de skurimasu. Another example. I don't throw away receipts. Instead, I collect them. Our verbs are to throw away and collect. Sutemasu and Atsumemasu. Sutemasu becomes Sute nai. Reshito wa or reshito o sute nai de atsumete imasu. Reshito wa sute nai de atsumete imasu. And last example, I didn't go anywhere yesterday. I played games at home instead. Our verbs are go and play games. Ikimas and game wo shimas. Our first verb is didn't go. Kino wa dokomo kino yesterday dokomo anywhere. Kino wa dokomo ikanai de uchi de ゲームをしました。I played games at home. 昨日はどこも行かないで、うちでゲームをしました。So if you notice, regardless of the tense of the first sentence or the first verb, it will always be written in ない form or ないで。So here, throw away, 捨てないで。didn't go, 行かないで。So this is in the present or in uh, current 
um, tense, while this one is in past tense, but they are still both written in nai form. The second sentence will determine the, the tense of the whole sentence, if it's in present, past, or future. So, for example, atsumete imasu and uh, game wo shimashita. Hai, ijo desu. Dou desu ka? Moshi tsumon ka komento ga attara shita ni kaite kudasai ne. Ato, kono video wa yaku ni tattara like button to subscribe button o shite kudasai. I will see you in the next one. Mata ne!